Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to our lesson. So today we are going to cover the next section of the writing task. Okay, so before this we've completed task A until task D. Now we are going to uh, write uh, our own essay. Okay, so... Um, let's look at how to plan our essay. Okay, refer to your textbook, page 63. Okay, let's look at the plan. How to write an essay that, that is similar to this one. You know, this essay is uh, discussing advantages and disadvantages. Okay, how to write an essay similar to this one. Okay, so look at this plan. This is how you should do it okay when planning okay when writing an essay discussing advantages and disadvantages organize your ideas according to the plan below okay remember i've told you before an essay you have three parts right the first part is the introduction the first paragraph the second part is the your uh, is your main part, which is your main idea. Okay, depending on how many main ideas you have, okay, um, yeah. it will determine your how many paragraphs you are going to have. For example, you have two main ideas, then it means that you have you will have two paragraphs. And the last part, okay, the third part of the of an essay is the conclusion part. Conclusion. This is where you conclude your ideas. You make your own. Uh, you state your own opinion. You conclude your points, uh, and everything. Okay. Okay. So let's read together first, uh, one by one. Okay, the first part of an essay is the introduction part. In, in introduction, you need to introduce the subject of the essay and both sides of the topic. Okay, introduce the subject, subject of the essay. So in this case, in in this task, okay, what is the subject of your essay? Okay, let's look at the writing task, the instruction. What are the pros and cons of team sports? Okay, so the subject of the essay is about team sports. Okay, and both sides of the topic, okay, both sides of the topic meaning the advantages and the disadvantages. Okay, so these are both sides, advantages and disadvantages. Clear? Okay, so you need to introduce, okay? How do you introduce the, the subject and the two sides, okay? Let's look uh, at an example, a sample essay here. This is the introduction, okay? Okay, let's read together. Team project work is becoming more and more popular in school nowadays. Okay? That's a topic sentence. Introducing the topic, okay? Introducing the subject. Your subject was... Okay, sorry, sorry. Your subject is? What is it? Yeah, team sport. Okay. Some teachers and students believe that it has many advantages while others disagree. Can you see the two sides here? Advantages and disagree. Two sides. Advantages, disadvantages. You know? Advantages here meaning that uh, some teachers and students agreeing that uh, Team, work, team project work is becoming more popular. Okay? And they love doing team work project. And some students and teachers do not like it. Disagree. Okay? It's a negative statement there. So that's how you write your introduction. If you have have problem, if you are having problem with uh, coming out your own with your own sentence, you can uh, look at the sample sentence here and... Um, Copy the sentence structure, but changing the subject and your the the center, the topic of the essay. Okay, for example, this sample essay is talking about team project work, but yours you talk about uh, team sport. All right. 
Okay, now let's look at the next part. Main part. Two paragraphs. Okay, just like the sample essay. Okay, this the sample essay also has two paragraphs. Okay, the first paragraph talks about the dis the advantages. The second paragraph talks about the disadvantages. Okay. Hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm recording. Okay, refer to the advantages and disadvantages in separate paragraphs. Okay, cover both sides of the topic equally. Remember yesterday you did this. Okay, I asked you to give four. Uh, four, uh, four. I asked you to give another two, um, two points. Okay, so right now, by now you should have, you should already have four points for each side. Advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so uh, per your paragraph two should talk about the advantages of team sport, and your paragraph three should talk about the disadvantages of team sports. Okay, if you're having trouble, okay, constructing your own sentence, look at the sample essay. The sample essay is uh, ex uh, did exactly like the plan. You know. It's a fact that students benefit in many ways from doing team project work. This is a topic sentence. Okay, if you ha are having trouble in constructing your own sentence, maybe you could change the topic. It is a fact that students benefit in many ways from doing team sport, from joining team sport. Or maybe change students into people. Okay, people in general. Okay, it is a fact that people benefit a lot of people benefit in many ways from joining team sport. See? It's a topic sentence. You already have a topic sentence. And then, this is where you add in the four advantages. Okay? To begin with, okay, you can use this, yes, because uh, the sample essay here is just to guide you. Is to guide you uh, if you are having trouble in, you know, constructing your own essay and organizing your own ideas. So, this is what the sample essay is here for. It is to help you, to give you an example of how you can uh, construct your own paragraphs and sentences. To begin with, yes, you can do this. Or if you want to use other linking phrases, firstly, or other, or for example, another linking words. To begin with, firstly, to start, uh, and other than, uh, and... What else? What else is the linking words that we can use to to start to start our point to begin our point? Hmm. Okay, you come up with that, all right? To begin with, it is an ideal way for students to learn to cooperate. Blah blah blah. So these are okay. This part is when you list down all of the four adv advantages here. List down in paragraph two. This is in paragraph 2. Okay, now let's move on to paragraph 3. Paragraph 3 is when you talk about the disadvantages. Okay, just like just like here, just like the advantage, okay, you do the same with the disadvantage. Okay. In the sample essay, the disadvantages is uh, explained in here. Okay, paragraph 3. Do the same like uh like how you did like how you construct paragraph two, okay? Now let's move on to the last part, which is the conclusion. Okay. In the sample essay, the conclusion, the writer uh, stated uh, his or her opinion. Okay, you can do that too, okay? But in this in this plan, okay, when you want to write your conclusion. You can make a general statement by using phrases like in conclusion, to sum up, all in all, on the whole, taking everything into consideration. Okay, these these are linking phrases is uh, is to indicate that you are wrapping up your ideas. Okay? It's a final uh, it's a final sen uh, paragraph. And then once you have made a general statement, you need to state your opinion. State your opinion, okay? Just like the sample essay, when stating your opinion, use linking words like this. From my point of view, or I believe, can. 
You see, I believe that the advantages, blah, blah, blah. This is a, an opinion. From my point of view, this is also indicating that you are stating your opinion. Okay. Uh, on the whole, is a linking phrase uh, to indicate that you are wrapping up, summarizing your points. Your points that you've made up here. The points, that, all the points that you made up here. Uh, all of the points that you've made up here. Alright. Hmm. So this is conclusion. Alright. So that's all. If you are again, if you are having trouble in constructing your own sentence, look at the sample essay and change here and there. Change the subject. Okay. The subject, your subject is team sport. Okay. Okay. Let's read the tips. This is the tips. Okay. Let's read this. When writing an essay, discussing advantages and disadvantages. Okay. What you need to do is first, think about the topic carefully and choose two or three ideas or points the ones that you have the most to say about yeah don't try to deal with too many points true come up with three points or four points or up to you lah but minimum three ideas okay three ideas make sure those ideas are the one that you have the most to say about because if you don't have most if you don't have anything much to say about those ideas your your essay is going to be short okay Clear. I hope it. I, I hope I made you. I made this point clear. Don't try to deal with too many points. Yes, this is true. Why? Because uh, your essay will will tend to be draggy. You know, draggy and droopy and was a and you know. You tend to run away from the from the main subject, main topic. Hmm. So that's why don't put too many points, but put three to four points that you have a lot to say about. Alright, okay, the second one, use topic sentences to introduce each paragraph. Okay, what is topic sentences? I have explained this in my previous video. Okay, if you want to know, check that video out. Okay, the third one, explain or justify each point and if possible, provide an example. True, for each point you have here, this, each point, point one, two, three, four. Okay. You need to justify, you need to explain, you need to give example. Okay, explain more. Okay, if you like, for example, I'll give you an example how we can justify things, alright? Your main idea, I like to eat rice. Okay, how do you justify this? How do you explain this? How do you give example? Okay, ask yourself, why? Why do you like to eat rice? When you eat rice, what, it what does it make you feel? Okay, ask, you, ask yourself the five how many wives? One husband? Five wives, one husband, yeah. Ke four wives, one husband. Ah, I forgot already. Those lah. Those when, where, why, what, who, and how. Right? Five wives, one husband. Um, so why? Why do you like to eat rice? I like to eat rice because it gives me energy. See? You are already justifying your main idea. That's an example. That's just an example, okay? Alright. Now next, next point. Use a variety of linking words, phrases, to list points. What are linking words? Linking words and phrases are just like this. Okay, I, we've done this in uh, uh, in our previous class. If to begin with, to begin with, at the end, at the same time, in addition. However, these are linking words. Okay, if you want to know about this, okay, watch the previous video. I've explained this. Uh, to list points, add points, express contrast, give examples, give your opinion, etc. See page 57 if you want to learn more. Okay, write in a formal style and do not use short forms. Yes, don't use short forms. What is sh what are short forms? Short forms are like, um, um, by the way, or um, if you want to write people, you, you, you write people. Okay, these are short forms. You're making things, you're making words short. Okay, this is a formal, formal. This is a formal uh, essay, so you have to use formal language. Avoid introducing any new ideas in the conclusion. Yes, why? Why can't we introduce new ideas in the conclusion? Why? Because the conclusion is the ending. Okay. You can introduce new ideas in the body, the second part of your essay, the body. Alright? The conclusion is where we 
uh, put an end to our points, put an end to our essay. We wrap up, we summarize our points and give our opinions or hopes or suggestion. That is all, right? Okay, so as usual, do this in your E1, okay? And submit your essay in GC, turn it in, okay? As like before, just like before, submit this before 3 p.m. And if you have any question, uh, don't be shy to ask me or call me, right? Uh, I, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be more than happy to answer your question. Okay, so I hope, uh, I hope, uh, I wish you all the best lah in doing your essay, in writing your essay, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to me.